Hey, welcome back everybody to game three of Sparkies vs. Samsung Khan, and this is going to be Type B vs. Great, but before we get into that, I'm not sure if we've mentioned it before, but uh, there's this little thing called MAGFest going on, January 1st through 4th, Alexandria, Virginia. It's going to be uh, awesome, and uh, I just wanted to share a story. This is actually my friend Tim's story that uh, he tells to people when he's talking about MAGFest, where one day we were, I think, going back up to our room for some food or something like that, and we get in the elevator, and there's like eight people in there, and he just goes, what Mega Man 2 song am I thinking of? And like, everybody in the room is like, Metal Man, Air Man. And, you know, he's just really excited that everybody's thinking about Mega Man 2 songs immediately. Um, so anyways, that's one of my Tim, friend Tim's favorite stories of uh, MAGFest. Um, it's exciting, and it's like that. Uh, uh, but... Uh, in the meantime, we're watching StarCraft, and today we have, uh, or not today, but right now we have Type B, and uh, he is in the northeast as red, and we have Hades, yellow in the northwest, and they are playing on the great map known as Tornado. Um, freaking crazy map, kind of a scary design, uh, and, you know, I think a lot of Zerg players play on here, and, uh, you know, Zerg vs. Zerg, I think we can expect a pretty uh, streamlined match. It ought to be fast and furious. Um, type B is, uh, you know, maybe not so um, excellent in the ZVZ category, but you know, he he can always surprise you. He's, he's it, it, I, I'm always confused about why he's uh, got why he's not so great at um, ZVZ. Uh, because he's obviously got some talent, he can do some interesting things, um, and he's you know, uh, you know, still holding on in the OSL as far as I know. Um, this it, it might have been after elimination phases, I'm not sure, but he's at least uh, up in the round of 16 as one of the seeds from last season. Um, uh, so far, actually, in both players scouting clockwise, which means Type B is scouting in the wrong direction. Um, but it looks like he is actually going for a nine pool. Um, so, or wait, no, that was an overpool. There's a second overlord right there, and he's going to be able to see. Uh, sorry, he's going to be able to see greats. I'm going to call him Hades sometimes. So uh, just get used to that. It's Hades. Um, you know, Hades is one of these players. He's been around for a very long time. It, it looks like since uh, 2003, actually. So uh, Hades has been on the scene forever. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say he's a great player, as his other name would suggest. But uh, you know, he's around and he's solid. Um, what else can I say? Um, early hatchery going down actually for Hades. Uh, it looks like that was an overpool into expansion for him as well. Um, so yeah, it looks like mirror built so far in the CVZ. Um, so this is really just going to come down to micro, uh, which is I think one of the coolest parts about Zerg vs Zerg. Um, quick match comes down to you know is if we have mirror builds like this, yeah, you know the micros can be very exciting. Um, Ooh, see, that guy, he agrees with me 100%. Uh, very intent. He knows things. Yeah, that's <laughs> one of the Sparky's coaches. I, I don't remember his name. He needs at least a goatee if he's going to be doing that. Yeah, the only one I know is Coach Zeus, who is a former Sparky's player, who is actually the dancing Protoss. Um, <laughs> so, you know, Coach Zeus, go check his ceremonies out. Anyways, um, they're nice. usually not as hilarious as Firebat Heroes. A nice um, wall by Hades, but he broke it off, it looked like. Uh, and uh, it looks like Ty B's coming in for a second round. Uh, if we could get off the coach for just a second. Thank you. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. I'm sure they have a great story about him for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he had a wall off on that uh, little shortcut there is on that funny little hill um, in between the bases, so that was, that's interesting. Um, regardless, Type B pressing in with his first lings, getting a couple hits on that uh, natural expansion, but uh, I don't know if he has enough lings to really um, finish off this hatchery. I, I kind of doubt it. It also looked like Type B's uh, lair might have been a little bit later. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, so it might be, he might have a little bit of time where he doesn't have any mutalisks. Um, it looks like he, <laughs> I think uh, Hades is actually trying to bait him to go for that drone, and he does go for the drone and gets it, and now all of those lings are going to be attacking. We're going to see who gets the best of this. I'm not sure so far 
are, it might... Oh, oh, Type B does come out with a better link count. He's still got four links alive, and that hatchery <laughs> and should be in danger, and everybody runs away. I don't know why Type B isn't sticking around and attacking that hatchery. His lair is finished now. I assume that Hades' uh, lair is also finished uh, very shortly. Actually, no more links coming. I think that's the reason why uh, Type B is actually... Uh, he decided to cut Ling production a little bit to hopefully get a bunch of Mutalists out. Well, maybe not. There is a, a good number of Lings coming in um, right now. Maybe he's going to put in a little bit more pressure. He does have a Ling advantage right now, although a little bit of a flank um, set up, although that never panned out. So anyways, it's going to be relatively even number of Lings, maybe a little bit more by Hades, and he's chasing away Type B, but it's still just a waiting game um, until the first Mutalists come out. I love seeing uh, this dance, and we see lots of uh, you know use of the overlords here. Uh, Type B bringing his down, uh, so they can totally scout each other's positions. One Ling is cut off, and I think once again Type B has an advantage here. Yeah, you got a sort of surround on the north end of that, but no, it looks like, oh man, this is a really close Ling battle, which is really interesting. A lot of times you don't see that. Usually you see, like, one player just end up with eight Lings that all have, like, one hit left on them, but, uh... Uh, yeah, that was actually surprisingly even, and uh, that was uh, very good, necessary for Hades. I think critically right now, well, I'm not sure. We need to take a look at the natural expansion of Type B. I'm not sure if he's been able to build any drones to start mining there. If he has been mining there, he's going to have a pretty big advantage um, in terms of economy coming in. And he comes wow, in and he is able to wipe again. out all of the lings. Now that natural expansion is definitely um, under pressure, and uh, it's up to Hades to come up with a miracle with his mutalist. I think before he can uh, do anything. I don't know if um, I, I'm really actually very surprised that there's been no mutalist. I guess there's just been way too many zerglings produced that they haven't had any larvae. And the natural expansion goes down. So Type B taking a huge lead here against Hades. Um, Hades is pressed back after um, his overpool into expansion. He has lost all of his links. He does have a sunken in his base. His fire is completed, so that egg right there is probably a mutilist, which is going to be able to chase away these links for a little bit. Um, Type B actually risking a little bit. Oh, He's nice. found a little He's found the edge on the sunken, and that will probably, if you can get that down. That would be a GG. Oh, it is very close. And that, <laughs> he's bringing it in he's, Yes, he focuses it, it down and the spire is gone. That is it for Hades. He has no hope. He has two, he has one Mutalist Scout, probably one hatching right now. Maybe a third hatching. So he, he's going to have to do it with three Mutalists and um, practically no drones. He lost his expansion. Scourge coming out for Type B. All of Hades' Lings going in for a counterattack, but that's certainly not going to do it. So Type B is just, uh, you know, as a formality, is going to wrap up this uh, pair of Mutalisks and uh, take this game down for Sparkies. <laughs> Wow, actually, um, Scourge coming out for uh, Hades, so one of those larvae was just Scourge, and it takes down a single counter Scourge, um, so not particularly great. Yeah, I, I don't know. He's probably not paying attention. He's probably imagining what Dan's Firebat Hero <laughs> would have done if he had won that first game. That was a nice Scourge kill. Yeah, it's it, when you've only got one Mutalisk, you might as well micro it correctly. So, yeah. <laughs> um, nice micro there by Hades, although he does get hit by one of those Scourge. Um, and uh, <laughs> Type B is just waiting to kill it there. Finally, <laughs> takes it out, and great, aka Hades, GG's. And Type B taking out um, Game 3, presuming that I got that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hades just had a smile on his face. I was wondering if I got the colors wrong at the beginning. But <laughs> that is correct. Type B giving the high fives, taking this game out, for sp <laughs> this game down for Sparkies, and putting them back in that uncomfortable position of being in the lead. We'll see if they can deal with that uh, in the next game. I've got a feeling, uh, you know, if Type B can pull off a win like that, uh, you know, that, that gives the whole team a boost a little bit of momentum. You know, Lita wins, and it's, you know, ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing. But Type B to come off a win like that with great micro, that was just really impressive all around. Um, hung in there the whole game uh, with concentration, basically. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the next game, yeah, I'm looking forward to. It's got another one of my favorite non-Sparkies players, uh, Jangby, versus our Yark, and uh, I think that'll be really exciting. Um, 
But we'll talk about the, that more in the next game. You know what else we're going to talk about more in the next game? Uh, the Mid-Atlantic Gaming Festival, which is... Uh, as, uh, <laughs> as uh, Khan's coach uh, would be happy to let you know is in January. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> keep trying to play something off that name, and eventually it, it's going to work. It didn't work today, maybe tomorrow. All right, well, we'll see you in, uh, in game four.